everyone, what about here, and welcome to Hymno the Silent Melody, as opposed to Himbo the Silent Melody, which is what I keep wanting to say, because somebody said that, and now it's stuck in my brain. Alright, so this is, this is actually kind of an interesting roguelike. Uh, the previous Hymno game, which I think this is straight up just, like, based on... Okay, can I turn those sound effects down? I'm gonna turn that rain up. I'm gonna turn that rain up a lot. I like some... I like some rain. Alright, what else have we got? Oh, that would explain why I can't see anything. Okay, FPS. I don't think I care about any of these. Cool. Alright, so the original Hymno game was free to play, from what I remember, and totally peaceful. That there was, uh, I think it was free to play. There was no combat in it. It was just kind of a meditative platformer kind of roguelike. Which, interesting con. Okay. Interesting concept. This whole game is actually loud. Music went down too. Uh, interesting concept, and I never actually managed to get around to playing it just because I'm a busy boy and there's too many video games in the world, and it is an issue. But this is kind of, I believe it's the same game, but it's being modified specifically to get combat. And I'm curious as to what that's going to lead to. I'm just going to kind of explore around. I'm pretty sure we're just supposed to go to that relic rune thing. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Hello? Hold to teleport. Hey, thank you, Aura user, for the five gifted subs. Thank you. District 1. Okay, so there's... Clearly a crafting. Oh, I have a shield? No, I don't. Okay, we have a treasure chest. Hold to pick up. Interact. Okay, this has teleport to checkpoint. Is this... This is probably my inventory. Oh, I can make a workbench. Charge rune. Gives you speed for a short period of time when using the shield. Hold to equip. Uh, is there... Ah. Shift to just kind of move it over. Can I move these here? Okay, can I do the same? Can I move it to my inventory, then equip it? There we go. Okay, so I gotta find some rocks. Okay, we got tons of fiber all over the place, but... Clearly, I can actually... There is, like, crafting and s slight survival game mechanics. I'm actually getting a... Oh. I'm getting a bit of a Magisite feel. From this. Except for... It isn't... Grab... Grabo? Magisite wasn't terrible, mind you. It was just unfinished. What is this? I don't... I don't know what this is. You gotta get rocks. To get that one. I'm just gonna turn the music down even further. Yeah, I... Unless it's something, it's some kind of currency that I need to get. I'm not sure. Yeah, like it could, it could be straight up that gold stuff that we keep grabbing. Maybe. Did they bring out another game, uh, like Magisite called Roguelands? Yeah, they did. Ooh, hey! We just have a crafting bench here. So I can make a sticky bomb, a boomerang, a wooden shield... Uh, parries nearby enemies when used. Wooden sword. Okay, Guardian Blade is 6 damage. Fire rate of 0.4. This would be 6 to 7. Kind of same deal, less knockback. I don't know if going for the wooden sword is really worth it. I'm gonna try the wooden wand. I see. Click on it a bunch. Oh, we also have a, uh, Frost Tome. That I got. I don't have any bombs. I guess I'll try making a boomerang as well. 
We'll just kind of make some stuff as we go by. So there's higher tiers of districts. Locked demo. Doesn't look like I can go very far in this. Uh, that's fine. Okay. So essence is the meter at up top. Understandable. Look, I just want to figure out how to get rock. Oh, hello. You are actual first enemies. Okay, so I can just dodge straight through. There we go. We get some scrap metal. Nope. It says I need rock. Well, I don't know. Is there a perk system in this game? I know nothing. I am... Oh! The green chunks! The green chunks are what I'm looking for. If I want to get that interesting looking wand thing. Well, there's another one. There's also a chest. A cursed looking chest. Okay, let's let's go get that wand thing no matter what. Cause that that wand thing looked like it was going to be kind of sick and maybe useful. I got a summoner staff. Hello. Summons a wisp. So what's that do? Oh, it's like a bouncy frost bolt. Okay. Is there anything else with this? Is this the crafting table? Oh, golden key. I need, need more. All right, I'm just going to pick this workbench up with me. I might as well. So is it as long as I have the wisp, I just get slow fall? Maybe. Maybe it's just the uh, the three green shards. Give me slow, slow fall instead. I, I don't really know. Out, out, come back to core. Corruption in district increased. Oh, maybe it's that. I I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. This game is actually super neat. Okay, that just warped me back. So It looks like I'm a... Oh, that's damage that I've taken. The red. Makes sense. Grab that. Grab more rock. I don't know what corruption in districts necessarily means. Grand scheme of things. Oh! That said, we got some iron cubes. It looks like I purified the chest somehow. Or maybe it just let me go through. What is this? What is anything? I, I don't know. Oh, District 2. I don't think I want that yet. No, I think I'm just stuck in District 2 now. I don't think there's any escaping. I, I'm certainly intrigued. It's got magic. It's got Magicite feels... Okay, that rain is actually a bit loud. It's got Magicite feels, but... The game isn't, like, super janky broken. And there's more of a feeling of exploration in a way that I actually really appreciate. I don't know anything. I don't know what anything does. But I'm kind of enjoying the process of, like, learning and exploring and understanding. His spell gauge is getting smaller. I think uh, my spell gauge is actually limited based on my maximum HP. 
or my current HP. So if you notice, I'm at 140 out of uh, 180 HP. Same thing with my energy. And so I'm, I'm pretty sure the case is uh, I'm wounded. Okay, if dead. I really wish I knew what to craft beyond this. What if I what if I have to make one of these just to be able to nope. Dang. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like I can unlock new recipes. Which makes me wonder what I'm supposed to use like half of this stuff on. Ah, uh, not again. It doesn't look like fa falling in the water is actually a problem. Mostly, it uh, just forces me to resummon my spirit. Which I kind of will do gladly. Not like it costs much to get to this. Uh, it costs much to resummon it and doesn't, doesn't uh, permanently slow me down at all. Okay. I'm just going to hang out here for a hot second. Oh, he's got a shield. Rude boy. Got him. Okay, corruption in district decreased. Oh! So maybe that's why I couldn't use the chest. I have to de decrease the total corruption to get to that point. Okay. Okay, and we get a potion of purification. So we've got gold, whatever that is, or whatever that is. Well, first, what does any of this do? That's clearly money. Che teleport to checkpoints. Yeah, I've got to find gold rock if I want to op open up any of those. Yeah, what I want to do is quick scoot back to the very beginning. What does this do? Oh, does this just re-roll District 2? I, I think it does? Huh. Okay. Well, that was the the boss already. Yeah, so it looks like I can maybe just redo levels as much as I want. That's odd. Not really what I was expecting, but fine. This looks cool. It it actually is really neat. It uh I'm really curious about like how anything works and I'm sure I've missed something incredibly massive. If I have... Ow. Oh, I did that to myself. Oh, they bad. Perfect. Okay. Nope. It looks like Big Bubba B is the only one that actually hits me. Ferg. Oh, can't kill Ferg. Yeah, I haven't figured out how to heal yet. I haven't found anything that gives me healing. Maybe it's something that we spend money on. Okay, 
Okay, there's the other one. Another potion of purification. Remove some corruption from your body. Oh. He heals me up. Yes. Okay, so that heals for quite a lot. Let's go for the interesting weapon. Interesting looking weapon. Wait, there are monsters in Hymno? Played the game for hours and never encountered anything. Uh, this is actually Hymno's Silent Memory, uh, which is the, I guess, the version that added monsters. Oh, well, that didn't work. I might have to fight my way past the bees. So what is this? Clumsy Fiber Staff, Essence Weapon. Interdasting. Oh, I see. That just summons it back. It looks like the bees are... actually... non-threatening. I say as I immediately... piss them the heck off. Okay, so my sword does not actually shoot omnidirectionally. I'll keep that in mind. Keep a lot of this stuff in mind. Do you want to retract my statement? Well, I mean, the thing is, they're not... They don't attack me, except for the fact that my sword has a shockwave, which I totally forgot how long of a range that was. Oh, did I freeze him? I think I did freeze him briefly. Okay. There we go. I'm definitely taking some more damage here. In the end of the world. But it it hurty. Summon the spirit back. Go from here. Okay. So question for the for those of you that know this game. How do I build anything? Because I can make the basic crafting bench, but it doesn't It doesn't seem to ooh. It doesn't seem to have much more than just the basic wooden wooden resources and nothing more. I'm hoping for something a little bit more substantive. I don't know if I can make armor. Let's see, can't you just put the bench down? Oh, okay, that's a jumping thing. Anything else? The answer is nope. Now let's go down very slowly. There is a chest here. We might as well pop open. Eh, overshot by a bit. All right, what do you got? Strength, oh, strength stat just plus one. Oh, okay. Wait, okay, let's go back. Oh, shoot, where was the, um, where's the starting? Oh, hello. Well, there's a workbench. But this one seems to have the same, oh, same stuff, ki kind of. We might as well make the, the shield. There we go. Anyway. Hey, Wander, first time catching you live. Thanks for bringing so much joy to my girlfriend and I. Brought a lot of passion to us. Hey, thank you. Passions to us. <laughs> I really gotta watch how I say these things. <laughs> oh, gosh, dang it. Himbo the silent memory. You are corrupting my brain. Anywho. Uh, but yeah, thank you for dropping by and thanks for the kind words. Sorry for the, uh, slip. <laughs> 
don't kink shame us. I mean, I just don't want to know. That's the real answer. All right, uh, let's swing back. Where's the Where's the door that I came in? Because I want to check something. I want to see if I can re-roll this level. There we go. What happens if I re-roll the level? Can I get another strength stat? Because I know the chests... ...don't reset. Oh, boy. That's just... I guess I'll just wall kick up here. This this actually plays, like, really well. Uh, I might want to use a healing potion, but I think I'm just going to wait. I'm currently kind of fine. I've got tons of iron, rocks, and coal. Yeah, at some point I'll find, like, a furnace that I can use this on, and I'll be like, hell yeah. Maybe I just got to get even further in. Yeah, look at all these resources that I don't understand how to use. Okay, that parries projectiles. Alright, I'm just gonna hang out here and do a big murder. I guess I can kind of swing in a diagonal. Okay. I haven't found anything else similar to the uh, summoning wand that I've picked up. There's a bit of a shame. Because it'd be really cool if I could get another one of those. No, I don't know if I can get up to that. I think level, level generation says no. Okay, what I want to check is this. If I pop this open, he gives me another strength stat. Wait, does that mean I can just redo... A district with a stat up over and over again until I become obscene. I mean, that's like the least interesting thing I've thought of in terms of like gameplay. But oh wait, that's new. That's a new crafting bench. I haven't seen that one before. Okay, so I can make return potion. Potion of purification requires gold and a potion of essence. I, let's keep going. However, if they keep that me this mechanic, let's go here. Uh, if they ke keep this mechanic for the full release, I would not mind over grinding to become uh, the one punch man dude. Just, just because. But yeah, I'm learning a lot about this game and I'm enjoying it. Oh, that looks like another, looks like another fairy chest. I might have to go back and actually uh, play regular Hymno after this, just to see what the non-violent version is like. I know it's platformery and also a roguelike question mark, but still, over grinding, over grinding is a gamer's best friend. It can be, unless unless the uh, developers learn the secret uh, and turn that into the core gameplay loop, and then it becomes Disgaea. At which point, it's still gamer's best friend. It's just at that point, uh, you're terrifying. Whoa, okay. Okay, here's a problem. I took a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Let's, uh, just... Oh, boy. My stinky wooden shield ain't nearly enough for this. I haven't been finding any gold either. And that might be a reason to grind. Aha! Thank you, game, for not telling me that I cannot cheese. Ooh. Clumsy fiber staff, you'll save my bananas today. No, I'm digging this. This has got a lot of Magicite and Vigante in its D DNA. 
Where the bosses and the enemies might actually be... Uh... What is this thing? Ooh. I don't know what this thing is. What be you? Workbench activatable, but I have that. And there's arrows for the bow that I do not have. Okay. But yeah, I'm getting Vagante flashbacks. Yeah, that's the thing. I actually, I really dig that. I, I know somebody's probably going to watch that and be like, that was boring. But like, I love it when bosses are really, really hard. And the... It's less about how to beat them in a fair fight and how to beat them in an unfair fight. Okay, I don't... Uh, I guess I'm going to have to scale the outside of this if I want to get to anything cool. There we go. But, like, I don't know. I, I think I have the most amount of fun playing video games when I can cheese them in some interesting fashion. Uh... I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's like a... It's player expression to some degree. Uh, if that makes any sense. Oh. Wait, we haven't cleansed the corruption on this level? What? Who remains? Oh, we got some gold cubes. We got some gold cubes. What enemy is still here in such a way? Well, the thing is, I think I already have that staff. Whoops, and into the drink we go. We already have that staff. Where's... Where's the foe that we need to kill to be able to get this chest open? Unless it's inside that door. I guess we're going inside the door because I don't know what else I'm doing. What is this? Ooh. Up. I thought it went up. What's, what's in here? Oh. Maybe I didn't do that right. Maybe I was, maybe I was supposed to pick up the... the explodey thing. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else up here. I, I've got plenty of essence. Not seeing any foes. So I think what I'm going to do is re-roll this level. We'll just refight that weird horror again. The explosion did break through the floor for me to get through. No, that's a good point. Okay. We have bees. There we go. That dead. What is this? Nope! Your foe. You were a foe, but you were dead. And corruption has been decreased. Okay. Flammable bot... Flammable body rune. Your body produces an explosion when you hurt over 25% health. Oh, but it reduces my max HP by 25%. I see the point of that. Is this just another summoner staff? Well, considering I have no idea what these three charge things do... Ethereal Summoner Staff. Summons a Wisp. It's, oh. Afa Ethereal. What is what is difference? Wait, that's a key wisp. What? Okay. That's a change of pace that I was not necessarily expecting. Is that just a free golden key forever? Can 
I just wisp my way through things and everybody's just like, yep, this is yours. You deserve it. That's another summoner staff. What is this? It's a pea shrine. I don't want to comment on that beyond what I already have. Yep. Yep. Snap it. All right. Whatever. There we go. Cap. Ball jumping. Not the easiest. There we go. A Celeste player, I am not. Wow, there's a lot of... There's a lot of these summoning things all over the place. Well, I'm honestly glad that I got the one that I got, but whoops. Okay, now it could get through, but I think let's go get the weird battery thing, if I can. So here's the answer. Die, sucker, die! Oh, I did get an essence core. Eh? 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 Did I not? Oh yeah, I got two of them. Used for essence portals. Oh, I got it. All right. Ah, what happened? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm here now. Oh, I'm back at the shop. Or the, the camp. Okay. So starting district one, two, three, four, five. Biome runes. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. I hope you don't die again. Well, I haven't died yet. So this thing... This thing is for saving loot, I think. So I think, uh... I think this area... Is specifically for preserving my stuff. Whoops. There we go. That's down. So we've talked to this guy... He sells furnaces, anvils, workbenches, transfusers, storage. Okay, so the there's meta progression, but interestingly enough, the meta progression seems more about building up this base of a sort than any kind of, like, substantive stat upgrade thing. Terrain... Wait. Close build mode. Build mode? Oh. Okay. Change terrain layer. Yeah, so I can warp warp back here at any given point. I've run out of rocks. Let's just pick all the rocks back up. I don't need them right now. Okay. This is really cool. Uh, let's see. Remove, scroll hotbar, change terrain layer, variants. Interesting. Let's close build mode, though. I don't care right now. Can I sell things to this guy? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. 12 item stacks, barrels. I'm just gonna do boxes. Okay. And if I go... Nope. If I go into this, we can transfer over... A ferocious fiber staff, a clumsy fiber staff. What's the difference? Ferocious has less damage. Oh. It uses fiber plants as ammunition. That's how it works. Okay. I I'm 
learning and understanding quite a lot about this, actually, really rather quickly. Uh, I'm just going to put away some random garbage for now. And we'll think about it later. Compact Essence Core. Uh, I'll take a look at... Nope. Take a look at this. Okay, so we can convert grass into coal, those things into slime, bullets, cubes, scrap metal, and even steel. So I can get a gold shield, an iron sword. Oh, looks like going back to to camp. It didn't reset my equipment, but it did reset my stats. Iron spear that fires three projectiles in a straight line. Massive sword, but I don't have enough for that. I think for now, we're just going to get an iron shield. Oh, and I need scrap metal. Uh, where's, there's my scrap metal. Let's just make a spear. I could try and go for the gold, but I'm not betting on it. That's... this is cool. A lot of things that... are gonna take a lot of learning to actually get going. One thing I absolutely really hope to see uh, with this game... Here, I'm gonna just get rid of that staff for the time being. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna store all this junk. We don't need it. Come back to it later. Uh, not that it really matters. I I guess actually, yeah, storing all of this stuff is just kind of the height of, I'm not going to say insanity, but it's just like, what is the point if I'm going to leave after this? Uh, or leave. I'm going to end the episode after this and not continue until the game comes out. But like, I, I really dig this, this progression system. What else does he have? I I guess because I have... Oh, because I have none of the stuff in my inventory, we don't see it anymore. Well, that's fine. This is cool. I don't... I I don't understand anything that I'm doing, but I'm... I can only imagine that this is going to get way cooler as it goes forward. Oh, can I go into build mode? I'm going to get rid of those. I don't even know why they were there. Same thing with these. There we go. Now I have free reign of my area, but yeah, we've got we've got some new equipment. This guy, this guy is how we progress. This is the various districts we can go to, and I I don't know. I I'm gonna go back to that comparison of kind of Vigante, kind of kind of Magicite, but also kind of its own thing. And yeah, you really can just grind up and do whatever you want. But building the hometown up to upgrade yourself feels incredibly cool and I wish I wish and I hope the developer takes it all the way especially if yeah if there were like room bonuses that if you made specific room rooms with specific items in it uh, and decorations and whatnot it would give you permanent lasting stats uh, as like a very light meta progression but to incentivize making a nice looking base as opposed to a long strip with everything that you need right then and there uh, but either way, like, I went into this knowing nothing about him now, and I'm gonna say this is a great advertisement for, uh, for the base version of this, which is, let me, let me actually see if I can find it. Yeah, just regular him now, which is free, came out back in, in 2019, and looks pretty good, so I might have to give that a shot. After the uh, the demo thon period is up, or next fest period is up, but I'm really looking forward to Silent Melody because I I could see that melody, not memory. I could see this being incredibly cool. Uh, but for now, at least for those of you on YouTube, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games, hit subscribe because I've got a ton of them still to check out. But for now, see you next time. I'm moving on to the next.